in. Well, it's time now for our last call. It was a perfect ending to their perfect season. The South Carolina Gamecocks could not be stopped. They defeated Iowa 87 to 75 in a close and thrilling game, and they've won their third national title now in seven years. Uh, many of their players shining in the moment, including Tessa Johnson, who led the team with 19 points off the bench, and Camilla Cardoso with a game high 17 rebounds. Meanwhile, Iowa superstar Caitlin Clark scored 30 points in the final game of her collegiate career. Her team season ending in the championship game for the second consecutive year. Uh, Clark sharing a beautiful farewell message, a photo of her jersey on Instagram after the game. Simple writing, I'll miss ya. Uh, also the men's championship, by the way, it's down to Purdue and the reigning champs, UConn. That's tonight. I want to bring back our panel here for more on this. So, uh, LZ, let's jump right in here. What did you think of South Carolina's historic undefeated win here? Absolutely incredible. Congratulations to the young women and, of course, the fantastic coach. 2020, Kana, is the most important year in women's basketball. When you think about what the women of the WNBA did during the bubble, when you think about the recruiting class that includes Caitlin Clark and then Las mm -hmm. Vegas going to the championship that year, 2020 was marked down as the most important year in women's basketball history. Absolutely, right? That sort of snowball effect that started in 2020 that I know that you covered. Uh, Christina, what about you? Uh, what was your take on Caitlin's, you know, farewell? Well, I just love what you said, Kina. By the way, the men's team is playing later, right? Like, this yeah. was the story <laughs> of the NCAA championship, was women playing, Caitlin Clark, Think about the millions and millions of young girls that watched and have been inspired by her. I'm not even a basketball player, and it made me want to go shoot hoops. Um, and so okay. just congrats to the women's team. Absolutely. And I mean, Mike, to you, this women's game right now is so elevated. It is so fun to watch. They're going shot for shot. The defense is off the hook. I mean, it is really entertaining. I, I was st stayed up late watching it with my son. Absolutely. I think that is what's going to be really important. Uh, I really hope that the NCAA women's basketball really takes this time in the offseason to create the narratives and to really unpack mm -hmm. really what this season was to continuously grow the sport so that this sport just isn't centered around one player, but around all the amazing, dynamic women that put their heart and soul on the court this season. And I think we're in for a treat with South Carolina as most of their uh, class is freshmen. And so we're going to see them over the next coming years to continue the building block of not only South Carolina, but for women's basketball. Yeah, especially though, I mean, you're right for South Carolina, right? If they have one of their leading scorers coming off the bench, I mean, what a bright future they have. And not enough can be said about Coach Staley and what she, what Coach Staley has done for those women on the court, but also off the court. She talks about grooming and teaching these young women and preparing them for life as well. Uh, John, I'm going to leave it to you to talk about the guys. You want to make a prediction for tonight? <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> the women were awesome oh. last night. <laughs> that's why. That's all I got to say. <laughs> Who cares? He's <laughs> no no love for Purdue. No love for UConn. <laughs> uh uh. -oh. John, John, no giant for Purdue. Yeah. <laughs> what I will say, Kana, uh, about this is that the good thing about the women's basketball, why they have a moment to build upon this, is unlike men's basketball, they're not one and done normally. And so we're going to see these young women come back year after year versus in men's college basketball. We just see one and done, so we lose the stickiness uh, of college men's basketball. Yeah, all Come right. Come see me next Listen. year if Syracuse basketball gets better. <laughs> I love it. I love it. All right. That's it for our last call, you guys. That was really fun. Thank you, LZ, Christina, John, and Mike. Thank you, as always. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.